are you going to be making your loading dock safer in 2021? So this uh, video is about um, that if you decide to do that, which you should if you haven't already, uh, putting vehicle restraints in your docks, if you decide to do that, you're not the only one. And uh, if you do think that it's not common, not many facilities have vehicle restraints in their docks, um, it's not true anymore. It was at one point in time, but it's not true anymore. And it's a big trend that you need to be part of. Businesses are installing restraints, okay? Uh, I track vehicle restraint sales numbers from around the entire country uh, all year long, every year. And this is a trend that is growing. It's not going away. Uh, loading dock safety is important now more than ever. We need to keep those people safe. And it's not just keeping them safe and, and their health and their livelihoods and their lives. It's your business too, okay? So in 2019, the national average was 61 restraints being sold for every 100 levelers, okay? That's way higher than it has been in past years. So this is going up. It's not staying the same. It's not going down. It's, it's, this number is rising. And if restraints are being sold, that means somebody's buying them. So these are, if, it, if it's not you, if you're not part of that group yet, this is other businesses that are uh, in the same industry as you and in other industries, but, but they're people like you. In three states, that number is less than 20. Only three states. And so, so less than 20 restraints sold for every 100 levelers. That's just three states out of all of them. Okay, And in those three states, there isn't much dock equipment being sold in those states at all. So it's kind of an outlier, right? In 27 states, so more than half, there that number is more than 61. Okay, so it's so it's so it's a lot. <laughs> Most of them are over the national average. Okay, and the highest state is 109, which means that for every 100 levelers sold in that state, there were 109 restraints sold, more restraints sold than levelers. Right, so you can see they're being sold, which means people are buying them. This is happening. Okay, restraints are being installed all over the country. Okay, this is something you need to be part of if you haven't already. So what does it mean for you? It means that there are more businesses than ever before installing restraints at their docks because they're realizing it's a wise investment. It's not just for the safety of people, although that's the most important reason, obviously. It's for the safety of your business because accidents that can occur from forklift fall through when a forklift falls down between the dock and a trailer that's pulled away early or or a trailer creep away from the dock or anything like that, if there's a person on that forklift, uh, the odds are that if they don't die, they're going to be severely injured. Severely. These accidents are not just bad for that person. They're bad for your business. They're extremely expensive. Okay, And there's a lot that goes into trying to, trying to fix that situation. And it'll never be the same, especially not for that poor person that was on that, on that forklift or anybody else that was involved in that accident. So don't wait for somebody to get hurt in one of these accidents before you install vehicle restraints at your docks. It's an investment, it's a wise investment, and there's no amount of restraints that you could put on your docks. If you have 100 positions, okay, 200 positions, 10, 20, 50, putting restraints at your docks is gonna be cheaper than if you have a death in your docks from a forklift accident or something like that or a severe injury. Okay, the numbers are clear. So until next time, please stay safe.